Tabbers, my name is Mark. Welcome to my shop. This is part six of my uh, 2015 Tab Max S trailer upgrade video where I'm going to move the water from the kitchen underneath the trailer. Up to this point, um, kids catch up. This is the frame that holds the propane and the battery in the tub of my trailer. I have modified it and welded on a bracket here. Um, I now have that back bracket drilled and this is the plate that I'm going to mount. I have it drilled and all countersunk. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a trial assembly. Um, Make sure I've got this right. plate on the back of our box like so. And then we're going to mount the box and the plate onto the uh, frame. So uh, let's get at it. First thing we need to do is mount the plate to the back of the box. Like that. Okay. All stainless steel hardware. And I have these are called um, uh, nylock nuts. Um, they're basically. Um, they're jam nuts. They go on the on the bolts and they won't come loose. I don't want any vibration. I want this kind of part. So we're going to go ahead and do assembly. All right. I had to modify these washers a little bit for a flat edge so that they clear this little lip. And finger tight the, the nuts on. And go ahead and tighten these guys up. They lost Phillips on the back. Gonna tighten this down too much, just snug, because this is just all a, a test fit. See that I've got all the holes running the right. So that's gonna stay put. Let's get the frame up here. Again, frame. all stainless uh, steel hardware. in frame is the pump assembly. I have tightened these together so that they won't leak and we'll start assembling this guy. Washers, rubber.
Okay, let's take a look at what we got. We are all mounted. Everything's reasonably secure. Let's go get the, the propane tank and mount it. Hey, look at that. There is the uh, box mounted. You can see it's down from the uh, bottom of the propane tank. Propane tank clears. That's on there really sturdy. And the lid will go on like that. Next thing I need to do is drill holes for the water to come out here and the water or the water to come in here and water to come out here. I want to put um, little half inch nuts on here so I can run flexible uh, stainless steel braid on the input and the output. So let's get okay, it done. Okay, there we have it. Remember this braid is stainless steel lines on the input and the output. I'll show you how this is done. Um, these are rubber plugs. Pull the rubber plug out. And then you can unscrew this. And then you can see I took a Dremel tool and just cut that opening round so that you can get that big uh, the big half inch nut on there without making a half inch hole. If I ever need to uh, get access to that or I need to take it apart or something like that, you can see I notched I notched this guy too. Um, and it just clips back in like it always did. Makes a great seal. And I may put a little bit of caulk around there, I don't know. But there you go. The only last thing I've got to do is bring in the electrical into this box and I'll do that through one of these holes depending on how the wire goes down. But I think um, I'm going to put it up on my bench and we're going to do a test to um, see how how this all works. If it's holding water, that kind of thing. So uh, uh, back up to the bench, I'm going to bring a bucket down here, put some water in here, bring a faucet, another bucket, and we're going to pump water across. Should be cool. Okay, so this final wrap up, I have 12 volts running to the pump. I have a bucket of water, pick up, comes around here to a faucet. Um, just took it to the cold water faucet. I wanna show you, uh, demonstrate a little bit what that um, C-Flow actually does here. So I'm gonna back up a little bit so you can see it. And now it's on and it's pressurized. So watch this. And turn the water on. You hear the pump come on. Now that's pressurized again. Now look at how smooth and how quiet that faucet is. Isn't that amazing? You can hear it. Turn it on. Turn it on. That water is coming from the accumulator tank. But if I turn it on enough, the accumulator tank's empty, and it, the pump pumps it back up. I turn the faucet off, and the accumulator tank comes up to pressure. So you can see a kind of buffers. Look at how smooth that water's coming out. I'm getting no pulsing, no, no nothing. Um, really nice. So. That's it. Um, we are ready to mount it in the trailer and it's dark outside. So I'm gonna get out of my messy shop tomorrow and <laughs> we will uh, um, mount this, this whole assembly in the trailer. Um, yay. Stay tuned for number seven <laughs> where we're uh, gonna mount this assembly and uh, Get the wire down to it so that it runs from the switch. See you in a bit. Next time. Drive safe.